Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pookie. Coming to you guys with another DIY acrylic painting, pour painting. Um, this one is another open cut pour. Um, this is a, it was a white canvas, but I went ahead and painted it all black. And some of, the black did have some like silicone in it. So that's the little spots you see where um, the canvas is kind of showing through because of that silicone that was in the black paint. But Um, with the black background, I used a whole bunch of like neon colors. Um, that one's neon green. I used blue, purple, like a magenta, some other neon colors. Um, you guys will see. So what I did was just alternate between those. Like I poured a little bit of each because I really wanted like it to be like super colorful, neon, colorful, bright. Um, and I was not sure how these colors would react to the black um, background. So this was an experiment I was trying just to see how it would look once it dried. Um, and you guys will see that at the end. I'll make sure I show you guys the ending results like when it dries. Um, so yeah, so that's just me alternating the colors. And yellow, I guess I forgot to mention yellow. This is one I used. And I'm not gonna speed this video up. I'm gonna do this one in real time so you guys can see. Once you get enough paint, like in the open cup, you can kind of lift it up and let it expand out a little bit. Just so you can get some more room in the cup. So, just go back and forth. Alternate colors. There's no real order. I think I, I actually think I forgot what order I was going in. I just started pouring colors in there. So it's no true order, however you want to do it. I really like that pink color. I think that's the magenta or light magenta, something like that. And red. I forgot to put red in there. I just move the cup down a little bit. And I'm going to add more paint to make sure I have enough paint to cover the whole board. Whenever you're, um, you know, just thinking of colors, just like it takes me forever, but I just kind of just put something together and I kind of go with it. So just do whatever your heart desires. And when lifting that cup up, I use that drag and lift kind of technique and it just helps with blending the colors a little more. So I did hit it with the heat gun a little bit just to help with creating some cells. And I kind of let it sit for a second before I started moving the paint around. And 
and I really, really love how the colors pop against that black. They really like show up real well. Um, when it's wet, it looks very nice when it's wet. It looks nice when it's dry too, but you guys will see the end results. I'll let you guys see that, of course. So I kind of uh, saw like it was not even the paint, um, the black paint. So I decided to add some more black paint on the corners to help it spread evenly because I come to realize like if you don't do that, your canvas, the painting will look like uneven. It'll look like it'll have a little hump right there. So I did add paint to allow it to spread out evenly across the canvas because I did not want that hump. Trial and error, you guys, trial and error. You will learn from painting over and over again, continuously. Um, you'll see the flaws from your previous paintings that will help you out in your future paintings. So that's one thing I did notice before, um, that it has to be even. And I had to hurry up and make some um, black, <laughs> more black paint. I seem to never make enough paint.
And once you're finished, just make sure you go around and check your corners and edges and make sure everything is covered evenly. And as you can see, when it's wet, it's very bright, colorful. We see every last one of them colors that you put into this painting, you can see it. But once it dries, it is a totally different story. And I did not know that. It's still a beautiful piece. But once it dries, it definitely darkens tremendously. And you guys will see that. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. And like I said, I was gonna show you the painting when it dries and here it is. It's definitely still bright. You can definitely still see the colors. Um, so maybe it didn't darken up tremendously. Maybe I did exaggerate when I said that, but it's still a nice piece and I like it. I like it. I imagine what it looked like under like a black light. It probably, really glows but anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and until next time peace